Hope you guys had a great weekend. Finally getting back to vinylize now. So, before I showed you the ACDC collection, or at least one of the frames. But now we're going to dive into a little bit more how this works. So, of course, you all recognize the vinyl record, right? Maybe it predates some of you. I don't know. Anyways, so the way these frames work, they take and actually laminate a vinyl record front layer to a block of acetate. So you wind up with these gorgeous little frames. Let's see here. Actually, there we go. So you get that nice pop. You can actually see all the grooves in the music all the way across the surface of the frame. These are absolutely incredible. Now, the great thing I mentioned, so you've got recycled materials here, of course. You've got the 60s vintage acetate, all great stuff, but these are actually cut. You can see that. I don't think this is the exact frame, but pretty close. It shows the concept, at least, where that frame is cut from the vinyl record and then laminated on here. They go a step further, everything is handcrafted, so the little nose pad bevels, everything all done by hand incredible finish on these all hand polished so from start to finish it's all done by hand not a machine actually beveled polished cut out laminated start to finish by hand now, of course they use a dremel and a polishing wheel at the appropriate steps but still handheld not cut into a cnc nothing like that so every one of these is going to be slightly different from the vinyl record on the front to the exact backing. This one, basic black, you'll see that on all the ACDC, back in black, obviously, back start to finish, everything black, and then they'll have the Lightning logo on the ACDC models. This one obviously is not one. The other great thing with these, you get that nice, solid, let's see if we can get it, there we go. So you get that solid five barrel hinge on the non-spring hinge models, on what they call the executive model, you step up to something a little bit nicer. You get the solid metal temple with a double internal spring hinge. That is about as good as it gets. So you're not gonna have any issues with spring, the temple falling off, any you know, that crazy stuff in a few years time. This one actually has one of my favorite of the vintage acetates, that nice, almost smoky pearlescent finish. I love it. Then another one we've got here. This is probably not one of my favorites, but you can tell definitely a vintage style acetate with that traditional tortoise look. It's classic as it gets there. Again, the five barrel hinge. This one's slightly differently, and it is actually riveted through. So you've got the rivets on the temple and on the face. So instead of just being seated, it's locked down in with rivets. You get this nice thick temple here as well, so you don't have to worry about any sort of breakage. Just incredible frames in all ways. And of course, with that handcrafted level of detail, you just get another level here. So there's some variance from one frame to the next. Every one of these is going to be individual. Even if it's the same shape, you're not going to have the same finish. Now, here's, I love this one. It's got some nice play in it with those deeper grooves across through there. Just an incredible look. The light hits these right. You get a nice little rainbow effect across the front. It's wild stuff. I love it. And they take that a step further. So they have a fully bespoke option. You can pick any one of their frame designs. They will make it for you with the record of your choice being that front layer. So they've got something sentimental, or you know of an album that was made in a rare color, anything along those lines, they can make that happen. And of course, fully bespoke, you know, you get in something a little bit pricier territory, but that's a whole other thing. So they do it really nicely. It comes in a cool box set. I'll throw some pictures up later so you can see exactly how that works. But otherwise, if you like this, subscribe, follow along. There'll be plenty more to come. Let's take care.